it's snowing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. How are you not embarrassed? And it was a deal. I'm not just trying to get myself obese, okay? <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the 7th of February, so it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I thought I'd vlog it. This is honestly one of my favorite days, or well, especially favorite sporting events of the year. I'm not really into sport, but I do love the Super Bowl every year. It's just like, you gotta get into it, man, come on. So it's 5 p.m. right now. I've literally just made some pasta here, and I'm in my workout gear because I'm going to eat that, maybe watch a YouTube video as I'm doing it, and then go for a run. Today is sprints, so you can feel my pain. And then, yeah, I thought I'd just vlog my day, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now. So I ended up watching another episode of The Mess You Leave Behind on Netflix because it's in Spanish before going on my run. It's snowing. <laughs> and as always, I ran down the Thames path. It was quite empty, actually, but I think that's just because it was snowing. Oh, look, you can see the snow. That's about all we get in London. Interval workout is called 60 seconds on the Nike Run Club. I do all of my interval stuff on there because it just does it for you. So you don't have to think about stopping and starting. So you do a five minute warm up, which is like slow, steady pace. Then you do 60 seconds times by four with a 60 second break. The first lot of four is at a 5K pace. The second lot of four is at a 10K pace. And the final is like a sprint one mile finisher. Do a two minute cool down, that's basically it. So it's like 34 minutes worth of running, which is a bit more than I'm doing at the moment. But it feels good to kind of vary the pace. <sighs> now to walk home. Might run though, because it, it is snowing. <laughs> So I went on that run and then got ready, had a quick shower and, you know, dried my hair. So now I'm just doing my Spanish homework. It is nine o'clock. <laughs> so the day is rapidly fading for a Sunday evening. My Spanish book's here. So I'm just gonna do the questions for tomorrow's class. And I've also ordered a pizza. Do you know, I was gonna get a takeaway, like an Indian takeaway, because they said they were open until 11. So I was like, well, they'd still be open, right? And then I clicked on the app and they said closed. I'm not gonna lie, it sent me into turmoil for a split second because I'm so picky. When it comes to food, I can just sit and scroll down apps and be like, I don't know what I want. <laughs> so I was like, do you know what? Oh, I'll just we'll go pizza. So yeah, I'm just gonna work until that comes and then maybe watch a movie before the Super Bowl. successful trip down the stairs. I'm out of breath. Can you hear? Woo! Domino's pulling through. And it was a deal. I'm not just trying to get myself obese, okay? Too small for your body now. Yes. I need volume. You to offset. Sunday nights, how they should be. Okay, so I'm low key still eating. That's the damage thus far. Feeble attempt, really. Super Bowl starting. Woo! My friend Josh and I. Basically, since I can remember meeting him, we have watched this every year and we like text each other as we're watching it, all of our running commentary. So that's like the tradition at this point. And that is basically what is happening right now. Lockdown makes no exceptions. So it's about 10 minutes into the first quarter. It's a screen pass to the left. It's a good job by Mahomes to get rid of it. We're gonna watch over and over again. And both tackle position plus mid. I'm gonna say it now, I think the Buccaneers are going to win just because of Brady and his drive. Like, this is the 10th Super Bowl for him, so I feel like he's gonna be on fire. But I think, and I secretly kind of want, I guess, the Chiefs to win. So, we'll see. Okay, summer of the first half. I thought the Chiefs would win. <laughs> I was wrong. Basically got demolished. It's embarrassing not only for them, for the Chiefs, but also for me and my prediction. And now it's a halftime show the weekend. Not sure how I feel about it. Saw a tweet saying he wasn't going to bring any guests out. It doesn't fit the narrative, whatever that means. So I don't think he can hold his own, to be honest, for the whole show. We shall see. We shall see. Mediocre. I withhold judgment.
Executive summary. He really thought, able, you really thought you were able, but like, you were not. You thought you gave us something, you gave me nothing! That was mediocre at best, and that's being kind, quite frankly. Like, you know it's a bad performance when the dancer's little jig of, like, they put one foot up, one foot down, was, like, the highlight. Oh, mate. That's embarrassing. How are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. This is how well the game's going. I've given up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at that! So, um, <laughs> Chief didn't win. We're unsurprised. I even got ready for bed during that last quarter or two because there was no hope. Especially after the weekend's performance, there was no hope left. I was like, do you know what? I'm going to bed. Good game, though. I do, as I said, love watching it every year. Tom Brady, excellent performance, great throws. And generally, like, it's such a shame that the Chiefs kind of had so many penalties and stuff in the beginning because I think that put a cloud over their full performance. It has just turned 15 minutes past three in the in the a.m. So I am gonna go to bed. I've got to be up at 6.30 because it's Monday today, right now. And I have to release a video. So do you know what? I feel like this vlog's gonna be short. So I won't end it here. I'll see you then. I'll see you in the aftermath of the Super Bowl staying up. Okay, see you shortly. <laughs> You know how I said, oh, I'm going to be up at 6am or whatever I said. <laughs> it's 1pm. Oh my gosh. I woke up for about half eight. Woke up again at like 10. But I didn't really like consciously wake up. You know when you wake up and you're like, hmm, it is morning. Back to sleep. That is the level of consciousness that I had until now. And now I'm like, oh no. Video is meant to come out at three. Haven't edited it, won't be uploaded in time. So I just put out a message to you all on my community page, which if you didn't know, I post on there quite a bit to you guys on YouTube. If I'm not posting a video, but I want to let you know something, I'll put it on there. Um, yeah, so I just put it on there being like, it's gonna be out a little late. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it done before Spanish. My Spanish starts at six. Hmm. And I've got to do TikToks today. I might as well take you on for the day because it was going to be the morning, but <laughs> we've missed the morning. So I'll take you on for the rest of today and then we'll uh, end this vlog. <laughs>I'm gonna watch it back as I finish off my Domino's cookies from yesterday. These are the uh, chocolate orange ones, would recommend. And then I can actually get on with my life even though I've only got an hour and a half left before I need to start getting ready for Spanish. So realistically, not much life to be getting on with. Okay, so all I've actually done is do business emails and now I'm joining my Spanish class, put my workout gear on in the hopes that it makes me look less slobbish and that I may work out in Spanish class now. Si habéis jugado este juego, la chica que está detrás de mí es mi amiga Sara. So today's Spanish class was evolved around asking people questions, making excuses, making plans. So we watched videos and then spoke to each other in breakout rooms. Si? Sí. Tú quieres mi euro o no? Yo no tengo dinero. Sí, sí, claro, aquí está. Uh, sí, el clima es muy frío o no? Mi chaqueta favorita. Okay. Uh, I didn't understand the six. I didn't understand the six either. Is that when I read it? It sounded like someone had an intercom in and off. Like yeah, like, can you let me in and I'll go up? But I didn't get it either. Yeah. No, I didn't. Roll, roll. Uh, Pregunta seis. Hola, soy Carlos. Me abres y subo. Me abres la puerta. When you go to, to visit somebody. So you press the button. Yeah. Uh, press the button or... Uh, okay. Open the door. Can you open the door and go up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't have anything for that. No, no, Okay, so my Spanish class is over. I feel like I'm getting better at it because I don't feel as nauseous <laughs> before the class each week. So to me, that's a sign that I'm getting better. My YouTube video, guess what? Still hasn't uploaded because it takes three hours. So it's on 97% or something like that. So I'm gonna hang here for a minute, have something to eat, 
and wait for that to upload. Then I can release it for you guys and then go for a walk because I have just realized that despite being up since like one o'clock-ish, obviously now it's 10 to eight because that class run over. I haven't even really gone out of bed yet. I've just worked from my bed all day, which is a habit that I do all the time when like I've got a lot of work to do but not enough time to like get up, have a shower and stuff beforehand. I feel like I only normally sit at my desk when I'm ready for the day and if I'm not ready for the day, I just slump in bed <laughs> and just work at the laptop. I'm gonna have something quickly to eat. No idea what I'm gonna have to be honest because I'm gonna come back and have something proper anyway. I mean, I was just saying to myself, I don't know why I've never filmed from this angle. So once the video was uploaded, I premiered it and chatted to you guys in the comments and also published it on my social medias. Then I quickly recorded a song for TikTok because I'm doing a 28 day song challenge. Follow me on TikTok if you want to watch them before going for a little walk. Ooh, I hope you can hear me, it's very windy. I'm on a little walk just because I felt like I needed the fresh air. It's quite late to be honest, so I'm surprised there's about 50 people-ish spread across the Thames Path or this section of it. So it's not exactly like mugging hour or anything. I just felt like I needed to get some fresh air into my lungs to be inside all day and having not really left my bed. And it is snowing, I don't think you can see it though. Maybe a little bit. But yeah, I've only done 2.5 kilometers. Basically down one stretch of the Thames Path and back. Now I'm walking home. So Spanish went well. I got paired up with Mark, who in my class is like my favorite person to be paired up with, just because I feel like we get on very well and our Spanish is on a similar level. So he, it's like no pressure, where some of them in the class are fluent in other European languages. So they're like proper professional Spanish, even though they're on the same level of class of me. So when I get paired up with them, it's like nerve wracking because I know that they're better than me <laughs> by quite a mile. I've also realized, you know, just before I started filming this clip that I've looked rough in this whole video. <laughs> Normally I start looking rough and I at least put some makeup on and have a shower at some point. But um, that didn't really happen in this one, did it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end this video off now. Basically what I've done since that class is have something to eat in the form of leftovers from my Domino's pizza. I went for a little walk around the Thames bath and then I came back and filmed for TikTok and for YouTube because I'm doing my um, 28 day write a song every single day in February challenge. Um, today's day eight and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to film the song that I, I wrote for today and put that out on TikTok and on my YouTube, so that's done. Although it's a little later than I would have liked it to come out, but we've been busy. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to bed, so hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.